Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson I will teach you application of differential equations. Of course, there's a PDF versions on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First of all, we know that Newton's law of cooling is dt over dt, that is the rate of the temperature of an object, is k t minus t1. So that is t1 is the room temperature and t is the temperature of the object and whereas k is the constant. So let's go through one example. A hot cup of coffee initially at 19 degrees Celsius in room temperature with a constant temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. According to Newton's law of cooling, the rate of change of the temperature of the coffee is proportional to the difference between the temperature of the coffee and the room temperature. So that is dt, dt is k and the temperature of the coffee minus the temperature of the room. Okay, keep that in mind. And we know that when t equals zero, t is 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, keep that in mind. The question is, if the temperature of the coffee is 60 degrees Celsius after 10 minutes, find the temperature of the coffee after 20 minutes. So first of all, we need to find the equations for this situation first. So we know that dt, dt, that is the rate of change of the coffee is k, t minus the room temperature. So in this case, the room temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So t1 is 20. Now to solve this, first of all, let me just separate the capital T with capital T and then dt with k first, okay? So that is, I turn by dt on both sides. So d capital T is k t minus 20 dt. So now to separate this, I divide by t minus 20. And I do the same thing on this side, of course. So that cancel out. So this means that 1 over capital T minus 20 dt is k dt. That is the term. Okay, don't forget small t is the term and where capital T is the temperature of the coffee. Okay, keep that in mind. So now we integrate both sides. So I integrate this. And I integrate this. So integrate 1 over t minus 20. So if we differentiate the new denominator, that will give me 1. So that is the same as numerator. So that is integrate f that's x over f of x dx will give me ln f of x. And we add a constant c of course. So this means that on the left hand side is ln t minus 20 and don't forget we need to absolute value this is equal to k t and of course we need to add a constant at the end so there you go now we just need to solve for capital t so we unlock both sides t minus 20 is e to the power k t plus c okay so don't forget e to the power c is a constant let me just make e to the power c is a so that is t minus 20 is a e k t and i move the minus 20 on this side so become plus 
So T equal, so that is I e to the power of chi T plus 20 is exactly the same as 20 plus I e to the power of chi T. Now we know that initial conditions when T is equal to zero initially, the temperature of the coffee is 90 degrees Celsius. So in another word, 90 is 20 plus IE K times zero because T is zero. So that give me zero. And we know that E to the power of zero is one. So I times one is I. So that is 20 plus I. And this is 90. So I move the 20 on this side. So that will give me 90 minus 20. That is 70. So therefore, I is 70. So let me substitute back into this equation here. Now that we found A, so now T is 20 plus A, that is 70 E K T. Then we read further. So we know that when T is 10 minutes later, the capital T, that is, the temperature of the coffee is 60 degrees Celsius. So that means when T is 20 and then the capital T is 60. So let me just double check, make sure. So 10 and 60, sorry. So T is 10. So there you go. So now what we do, we just need to use this to solve for K. So that is 60 is equal to 20 plus 70 e to t 10. So 10 times k is 10 k. So now we just move the 20 on this side. So 60 minus 20 is 40. That is 70 e 10 k. Then I divided by 70 on both sides. So this cancel this first. So 4 over 7 is e to the power of 10k. So I take ln on both sides. That is log base e. So that will give me this. ln 4 over 7 is ln e 10k. Then ln e power of 10k is equal to 10k. So that is ln 4 over 7 is 10k. And I divide by 10 on both sides. So this means that k is 110 of ln 4 over 7. So there you go. That is the value of k. But then let me just use calculator, work it out. And then we normally use k as four decimal place. Okay, so let me just put on a calculator. So just go. 1 over 10 ln of 4 divided by 7. So there you go. We're correct to 4 decimal place. So negative 0 0.0560. Okay, 4 decimal place. So that is k is negative 0 0.0560. Okay, so we just use this number. It makes it easier. So now, T is equal to, so this equation here, 20 plus A, so that is 20 plus A, A is 70. In fact, we are using this equation here. They're the same, okay? And K is this. So E to negative 0 0.0560 times T. So there you go. This is the equations for the temperature for the cup of coffee. So we need to find the temperature of the coffee when T is 20 minutes and correct to nearest degrees. So that means when T is 20. So when T is 20. So therefore the temperature is 20. We add 70 e to the minus 0 
five six zero times twenty. That will give me. So I just go twenty. We add seventy e to the power of negative zero point zero five six zero times twenty. So there you go, forty-two point eight three, and so on. So correct to nearest three degrees. So that is forty-two point eight forty-three degrees. So that is forty-three degrees. So there you go. Part B. So we need to find the rate of the temperature cooling after twenty minutes. So two way to work this out. So the first one is we we already know that when T is equal to twenty, K is thirty degrees, and we know that the rate is this. Okay, D T D T is equal to K T minus the room temperature. So we know that K is negative zero point zero. Five six zero, and T is forty three. We can use that. That is forty three. We minus the room temperature. That is twenty degrees Celsius. So T one. So that is twenty. Now I just put on a calculator. So I just go. Negative zero point zero five six zero brackets forty three minus twenty. So there you go, negative one point two eight eight. But correct to two decimal place, so that is negative one point two nine degrees Celsius per minute. So. There you go. Or what you can do, or you can differentiate this function here, and you substitute t into this function here after your differentiations, and you should get the same answer. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there, I'm back. How did you go? Let me go through it with you. Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So first of all, we know that dt over dt is k, the temperature of the soup, that is t minus the room temperature, and we know that the room temperature is. Twenty-five degrees, so twenty-five. There you go. And then we need to find the functions of t. Okay, equations. So to work this out, let me just separate them first. So dt is k t minus twenty-five dt. Got to times dt on both sides. So now I'm gonna divide t minus twenty-five. So if I divide by this, t minus twenty-five, t minus twenty-five, they cancel out. So that will give me one over t minus twenty-five dt is equal to k dt. So now I integrate both sides. So I integrate this and I integrate this. So that will give me the left hand side is ln t minus twenty five, and this is k t. Don't forget, we need to add a constant c after the integrations. So now to solve for this, I take unlock on both sides, so that becomes t minus twenty five is e to the power k t plus C, so this means that t minus twenty five is equal to e 
chi t times e to the power of c because this is this okay don't forget and e to the power of c is a constant so which is we can just my e to the power of c is a so much more simpler so t minus 25 is a e to the power of chi t so now we need to find the value a but before i do that so i need to move the negative 25 on this side first so that is t is 25 we add a e to the chi t so then we go back to the reading the condition is initially that is when t equals zero the temperature of the soup is 80 degrees so go back here so when t is zero t is 80 degrees okay keep that in mind so that means 80 is 25 plus a e to the k times zero because t is zero so that give me zero that means a times one okay because e to the power of zero is one so a times one is a so a t is 25 plus a we move on this side 25 so move on this side becomes minus so 80 minus 25 it gives me 55 so it's equal a so therefore the equation so far let me put it back to this so that will give me t is 25 plus 55 because a is 55 e k t so now we need to find the value of k so then the value of k so we know that when t is 15 minutes the temperature of the soup is 60 so when t is 15 t is 60 so I just put down here so that means 60 is 25 at 55 e to 15 k so don't forget so now i just solve for this i move this on that side 60 minus 25 so 60 minus 20 is 40 minus 5 35 so 35 is 55 e 15 k so now i just divided by 55 on both sides so that is 35 over 55 is e 15 k now i take log on both sides with log base e okay ln so that is ln 35 over 55 will give me ln e 15 k and don't forget ln e to the power 15 k is equal to 15 k so that is ln we can simplify this if we wish so that is 7 over 11 that is 15 k and i divide by 15 on both sides so k is 1 over 15 ln 7 over 11 so let me just put on a calculator let me just write k correct to four decimal place so that is 1 over 15 ln 7 divided by 11 so there you go negative 0 0.0301 that will do correct to four decimal place so therefore k is negative 0 0.0301 so there you go now we just substitute k value back to into these equations so that is t is 
e to the negative 0 0.0301 that is k and t don't forget so that's it that's the equations now we need to answer the questions find the temperature of the soup after 30 minutes and correct to nearest degree so when t equals 30 so when t is 30 the temperature of the soup is 25 at 55 e minus 0 0.0301 times 30 that will give me so just put on a calculator so go 25 at 55 e negative 0 0.0301 times 30 so there you go 47.29 degrees celsius correct to nearest degree so that is 47 degrees so 47 degrees so therefore the temperature of the soup is 47 degrees celsius part b we need to find the rate of cooling after 30 minutes so two way to do it remember one way is we differentiate this function here sorry so this function here we differentiate and we substitute t in to the equation that is 30 okay you should get the answer but quicker because when t equal 30 we have 47 degrees and we already know that the right is this let me write that down dt dt equal k t minus t1 that is the room temperature 25 degrees and we know k is negative 0 0.0301 and the temperature at time is 30 is 47 so 47 minus 25 that should give me so i just go negative 0 0.0301 brackets 47 minus 25 so there you go 0 0.6622 and so on the answer is negative 0 0.66 degrees celsius per minute there you go part c how long will it take for the temperature of the soup to reach 30 degrees celsius so to work this out we know that t is equal to 25 plus 55 25 plus 55 e to the negative 0 0.0301 t so now the temperature is 30 so 30 is 25 plus 55 e minus 0 0.0301 t and i moved to 25 on that side so 30 minus 25 is 5 so that gave me 55 e negative 0 0.0301 t and i divided by 55 on both sides so that will give me 1 over 11 so that e negative 0 0.0301 t then i take ln on both sides so that is ln 1 over 11 ln e to the negative 0 0.0301 t and we know that ln e they cancel each other out so this means that this is equal to negative 0 0.0 0301 t and this is ln 1 over 11 now i just divided by negative 0 0.0301 so that means t is equal to ln 1 over 11 divided by 0 
zero three o one. Don't forget the negative. So put on a calculator. That will give me. I take ln one divided by eleven, and then we divide it by negative zero point zero three zero one. So there you go, seventy nine point six six minutes. So correct to the nearest minute. So eighty minutes. So therefore, t is eighty minutes. So there you go. I hope you got all of them correct. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.